Welcome everyone to my very first ever survival series. I am actually quite excited. Uh, let me collect some of this. There's a reason I'm doing that. It's basically a marker um, as that will be the very first uh, the, the block that I spawned in. I do have a world border um, for about 200 blocks. Uh, just because I want to make sure that I'm not rendering too many chunks before the new update comes around. There's a few data packs that I have as well, so I'm really looking forward to exploring those once we really get going uh, around and whatever. I think I should probably mark this with my waypoint here. Let's check out what we have in the bonus chest. Wow, already a whole bunch of wood got a pickaxe, have a, and just regular axe. We got some food. Ah, if I can pick them up. My mouse, I really need to replace it. Um, also thought, uh, I should probably tell you also, I have everything on peaceful and what we'll do is we'll just, uh, as I need to, I'll just kind of readjust it um, and make it, you know, normal or easy or whatever. I don't do hard modes and whatever. Uh, because, uh, <laughs> as you've seen in previous, uh, series, I die a ton. So, I am going to do what I can to minimize the risk. So, I'm going to take these torches here. Grab the chest. And actually, now that I think about it, I can use a torch as a... Uh, marker for now. So that block is the exact block that I spawned in on. Yeah, so there's the world border right there. It's interesting that it's yellow. It might be because of my shaders. But this terrain is absolutely amazing. This mountain, this hill, so awesome. I also have render distance turned super low uh, so that I'm not rendering too many chunks at the very start before the new update but this this is oh, this is so inspiring my idea was to find a seed that had lots of amazing terrain and or flower forests and whatever. Now, according to the seed map that I'm using, it said that there was one, that there is a huge flower forest somewhere around here, pretty close by, but I did previously, disclaimer, check out the seed a little bit around here and I could not find that flower forest. So uh, I guess we'll be on a hunt, on a lookout for a flower forest in the area, so I hope I can find one. If not, uh, it's not a huge deal. I just won't be able to get certain flowers as easy. Which means, contrary to a lot of, pe lot of people say and a lot of people do, I'm going to be utilizing that wandering trader as much as I can. There are lots and lots of animals around here, so that's pretty good. Lots of cows, so I can get some food if I need to. Um, which, because I'm in peaceful mode, probably just means that I don't have to worry too much about uh, food, because you don't really need to worry about that in peaceful mode. Uh, ooh, donkeys, okay some donkeys around. I wonder if they can go through the border. All right, well, I better start getting things started and get um, get some tools, materials, and really get myself set up so that I can start building uh, a place to live, find a place to live, build that place to live, and really start this series off right. Give that to me. Um, I don't have any data packs that make the trees, the leaves decay faster, but that's okay. <laughs> um, 
I do have a few other data packs that I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how they work. I kind of can't remember what they are, but I can, I'll have to look at what they are and then remember that they exist for a future time. So glad I don't have to worry about nighttime because that, that would just kill me immediately. On the opposite side, oh, 200 blocks. This, I was so inspired by. Let's use free cam. Can I use, oh, yeah. So, ah, man, 200 blocks. I was so inspired by this little area for a good place to put a house. Because up here, these mountains here, I want to use these as a, I want to utilize them as a kind of a means for a, like a castle or, or something like that. Oh man, do I do it? Do I, do I extend to the world border? I'm at 200 blocks, I believe. I think I'm at 200 blocks. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, as soon as the update comes, we won't have to worry about big barrier, big wall. This is going to be a, a continual survival series, so that's why I'm concerned about, you know, having a world border and concerned about having the um, chunks loaded in ways that I don't want them to. So I'm only going to load up as much as I think I need. I wish I could get all the way out. Because that is a concern right there. But anyway, let let me get started. Let me get some materials. Let me start, you know, a mine and everything. And I will get back to you when that is all done. So I've been doing a lot of uh, work and kind of planning. Um, I don't know how to feel really about this. Uh, I really wanted to go into the survival series really calm and relaxed about, you know, what I do, what I create, what I build. But this is essentially what I have so far. It's going to be a storage room, but also an entrance into a cave or a mine. Uh, let's see, where is that staircase? There's a staircase right here. So there's a staircase. It looks like I've been digging right into it, but that's okay because this level is going to be the main level where I get into the mine for the most part. I was going to plan on this room being storage or something like that, something that I come into a lot. I, I definitely think it's going to be storage, but I'm going to have to see how it goes as I really move, a, move along in the process of building. I have a lot of, um, I have a, a small kind of crude tree farm here and it has been providing me with plenty of wood, plenty of saplings and other materials that I definitely need. And thanks to coming up with this design to really haul things out and just really not worry about the aesthetic of the build to just carve this out I got so much material I actually have a whole bunch of coal which I can add that to it I got a lot of flint and so much cobblestone that is going to be extremely helpful when I need to start building the house up top
Well, this is kind of what it looks like so far. I'm really struggling. I haven't really played Minecraft by myself for a very, 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 very long time. Pretty much ever. So, I don't really have very many ideas in the arsenal in my creative brain. I'm really struggling to really figure out what to do and how to really decorate a place. But, I mean, in a way, this looks fine. It looks great for what it is. It's, you know, a good start. And I can't wait to really just eventually upgrade it and just make it look nicer. The shaders really do help a lot with the way this whole place looks. I might need to put some more torches on the back wall here. I'm actually thinking about possibly instead of having... Hmm... This might be a great entrance to something. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this. And also get rid of these as well. Actually, I just realized there's a great opportunity if I just continued building straight instead of going, uh as a stair, there's a fantastic opportunity to make somewhat of a, like a, a dock or something right there as an, uh, an waterway entrance point. Ah, uh, lovely sunset just on the other side of the world border. <laughs> This is going to be such a fantastic thing right here. I can't wait. Can you, like, stop making noise, please? <laughs> Wandering traitor. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, I don't have any logs at the moment, so these are just kind of place markers. But this, I don't know, it's so cozy in here, so nice and warm. So I'm going to finish this off and... I'll come back to you guys when I get something more. And there. Perfect. I really like this. <laughs> we got two sets of stairs. I'm so happy and so excited about this. Now all I have to do really is do the walls, do the ceiling, and figure out how this connects to a house that is non-existent at the moment. But we got a hole over there, and we got a hole over right here as well. So, I need to figure out... Actually, ultimately, I need to figure out the exact level I want the stairs to continue out to. I think this one's a higher staircase than that one which is okay this is just to start out with this is what i have and as i figure out and plan how to build the house above and how it all connects to the stairs then i will figure out the exact level that i want the stair the stairs to go up to because at that point i'll be able to level everything out And then we'll be all bleh, and then we'll be all golden. I just absolutely love this. I I am actually quite proud of my skill here. I didn't focus too much on trying to detail too much. I expanded, and I was I I, I know I really love using walls. Um, I wish they were more smooth, but I think that's just because I had three uh places for walls so it is gonna stick out but that's okay because it doesn't have to be perfect and that's something that i've been trying to teach myself and trying to learn for a very long time I'm trying to figure out where i want everything to go this is supposed to be a very general storage 
area, at least to begin with. So what I've done is I think I'm putting like, you know, dirt and uh, other kind of natural materials there. And then cobblestone, stone, anything like that in that regard is going to go here. Um, come to think about it, I think I need wood. That's the one thing that I really need to make sure I have a space for. Part of me really wants to put it here, but I know I'm going to have a lot of wood. I'm different types of wood, and so probably here might be a good idea. Oh, that's kind of a hard decision. I'll put I'll put wood here. So that can be anything from logs to uh, stairs, slabs, signs, sticks, fence posts, etc. Anything in regards to wood um, as a basic block or material will go there. Um, I have, yeah, so basic stones and rocks go there. Uh, food collects right over there. And ores, so such as the um, coal and clay. Actually, I think clay should go in the... Uh, I mean, yeah, it is natural earth, but when you get the item itself, I think I'm going to consider it ore, to be honest. I mean, it's not ore, but it's, it's just, it just fits somehow to me. Now, something really ridiculous and funny, I'm probably going to put chests and barrels in, in these things. I probably don't need to split them up right now. But this will probably be how it has to be for the time being. Food will go here. Actually, food could go here. Um, hmm. Well, tools are going to go in these barrels here. I guess food... I can start food here. These are supposed to be, I guess, quick access points. And then tools go in these barrels here. I think I think I'm doing pretty good on my organization so far. Now I just need to go and literally transfer all of this into their respective spots. This is truly inspiring. I am so excited. I don't have a specific plan or idea of what the house is going to look like, but there is definitely going to be a house right on top of here. It's really interesting and kind of funny that the top of the ceiling in the storage room is exposed. So I can't wait to fill that in. I'm probably... Part of me wants to just terraform and flatten this out to the level of this staircase here, but at the same time, it would be cool to be able to utilize the natural formation of the landscape, the general position of the landscape and levels of the landscape in order to determine how the, the house will be built. Of course, I actually don't want to have the build or the house be super detailed, planned out. I want it to just come naturally. If I want to build something, I want to build it. If I if it looks good, it looks good. If it doesn't, either I'm going to keep it or I'm going to fix it. So maybe I don't level out this staircase or bring that staircase up. Maybe these are just two different ones. All I have to do for next episode, or by next episode, is maybe have it all kind of just cleaned up. Not not leveled out, but cleaned up. Because, man, this landscaping, as cool as it is, it is really, really rough. Well, I truly do hope you guys liked this episode. Um, it's definitely kind of a rough one, but I... I'm doing my absolute best, and I am trying very hard to get this series going. But with that, again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next one. <laughs>